How many of us have been hurt before? Amen. If you haven't been hurt, that means you ain't living. Right. Because when you live life, you're going to get hurt. That's right. But the thing is, it's not that whether we get hurt or not, it's what is our response? How are we going to respond to the hurt? That's why I say leave 2014 and 2014. Because watch this. 2015 is going to have hurts of its own. <laughs> it's going to have challenges and obstacles of its own. So what we don't need to do is to carry, you know, uh, I, I mean, I never played football. I, I grew up playing basketball, but I know this much about football. You don't want to carry one position into the next position, whether it's a good possession or whether it's a bad possession. This is what they say, whether you're a quarterback or a cornerback, they say you got to have short-term memory. you got to have short-term memory. Why? Because the next play is about to begin. See, you can't celebrate your successes for too long, and neither can you pout about your mistakes for too long. We need to make the mistake, get over it, and go on to the next step. Our problem is we've been coming to church, and even though we've made the mistake, we've carried that same mistake year after year after year after year, and then we look to God as if it's God's fault. It's not God's fault. What we need to do is get over it. It's one thing for us to make the mistake. In fact, it's better that we make the mistake than the mistake make us. Because as long as we make the mistake, that means we are in the position of dominion. We dominate. You dominate. We say this at church all the time. Be great and dominate. When you wake up in the morning, be great and dominate. We've got to be great and dominate. No more mediocrity. No more just being average. Somebody say, be great and dominate. Be great and dominate. Amen. God did not create us so that we could just live a, a, a mediocre life, so that we could just be average. No, 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 no. God created us to dominate, to have dominion on a daily basis. Now watch this. We become so religious and traditional that the only time we experience dominion is on Sunday. Come on now. All right. We come and we lift our hands or, or however we... You know, however y'all have services. You know, we, we have a good time on Sunday, but it seems like we can't translate the powerful time we had in church on Sunday going into Monday. That's right. The Bible says that sin crouches at your door. It crouches at your door. You know what the enemy does? He's just waiting for an opportunity to sneak in and to bring in discouragement in your life. Because once we wallow in the discouragement, there's not going to be any drive to even go forward anymore. Amen. Amen. We got to bring back fruit. Amen. Yes. Let 2015 be the year where we produce much fruit. Amen. Amen. Let it not just be the year of promises, but let it be the year where we see the results of those promises. 